African violets are small and slow-growing flowering evergreen native to East Africa. Although their natural habitat are the tropical rainforests of Tanzania, they are strictly indoor plants in North America. African violets are easy to grow if given the proper condition and in a little bit of care. They offer a wealth of beautiful flowers that come in a wide range of colors from blue to violet, pink, lavender, blue-violet, mauve and white. The flowers may be single, double, semi-double, ruffled, or frilled petals. The soft, velvety leaves come in round, oval and heart-shaped in shades of deep green, silvery green, bright green and variegation of white and green. African violets are classed based on their size namely miniature, semi-miniature, standard and large. African violets will flourish in a warm and bright location with some humidity. If the environment is too dry, place the plants on trays filled with wet pebbles to increase the humidity. To plant African violets, choose a container with a diameter that is no more than one-third the width of the plant's leaf span. There are African violet pots which are self-watering containers. These containers come in two parts, the top part is where the plant grows and the bottom part holds water. African violets have very fine and delicate roots, so make sure to use a light soil mix that allows for good drainage. An ideal mixture is equal parts of peat, perlite, and vermiculite. There are potting mix specifically formulated for African violets available in most garden centers. For African violets to perform its best, give them as much indirect sunlight as possible. Windows that provide north, northwest or northeast exposures work well. If your plants are not getting enough natural light, consider using fluorescent or LED lights. Place lights 4-8 inches above the plants for 12-16 hours per day to provide sufficient light to initiate blooms. African violets require a moist, well-drained soil. But never let your plants sit in water as this will lead to crown and root rot. The leaves should never be in contact with water, because water droplets will form brown spots on the foliage. It is recommended to water from below by placing the plant in a saucer of water and allowing the plant to soak up water from the bottom of the pot. Always allow the top inch of the soil to dry before watering again. Apply fertilizers specifically formulated for African violets regularly to promote growth and bloom throughout the year. Follow the manufacturer's recommendation on the label and do not over-fertilize the plant as it will burn the delicate roots. Remove any spent blooms and dead foliage to encourage healthier growth and more blooms. Common pests include spider mites, mealybugs, and cyclamen mites. The situation can be controlled by spraying with soapy water. Avoid overwatering to prevent root and crown rot. Give your indoor plant spacing for better air circulation because powdery mildew may infect the stems and leaves if there is overcrowding. African violets should be repotted annually. If the plants have more than one crown, gently remove the plant from the pot. Divide the crowns by cutting through the root ball with a clean, sharp knife. Be careful not to damage the delicate roots. Make sure when potting the plant to put the crown just above the soil line to prevent crown rot. African violets can be propagated from leaf cuttings. Simply snip off a leaf stem at a 45-degree angle with a half-inch stem attached to the leaf. Stick the cut end in a small container filled with potting soil, that's a mix of vermiculite and peat, and water to keep the soil evenly moist. Cover the container in clear plastic bag to maintain the humidity, and place it in a spot with bright but indirect light. Baby plants should appear in about three months, but wait until there are four to five leaves before transplanting. African violets will brighten up any room with their delightful blooms. They can live for decades if given the proper care and maintenance. The propagated cuttings can be given as gifts to family and friends. Thank you for watching.